Greetings to you. I am Brother Minister Louis Farrakhan. We had dinner together in the home of a Jewish rabbi. I went, others went. I brought some of my people, and there were two rabbis. There was Irv Kupsinet, great reporter for the Chicago uh, Sun Times. And after we had a beautiful dinner together, we, we looked like we were going to be on a page together where the controversy could stop. But the rabbi said to me, this is this love fest that is near the end of the dinner. But then he reached in his pocket and pulled out an envelope and said, but this is tough love. We want something from you. Protocol number 12. Three. For any attempt to attack us, if such still be possible, we shall inflict fines without mercy. And they said, Minister, we have to watch you over a protracted time to make sure that you've changed. Then we had just put out the first volume of the secret relationship between blacks and Jews. And you all told me, we want you to renounce this book. Because it's a great calumny against the Jewish people. You said that to me. You said to me, nobody that is deemed an enemy to the Jewish people is ever written of well in history. Protocol number 16, we shall change history. Four, we shall erase from the memory of men all facts of previous centuries which are undesirable to us and leave only those which depict all the errors of the government of the Goyim. You know you control much of the publishing industry. So if you write the books, your people are heavily placed in the media, so when you all get ready to dog us out, you call those in that you pay. Then you told me that if I did all the things that you all asked me to do, you would clean up my image. You knew you dirtied it. Protocol number two, five. Through the press, we have gained the power to influence or remaining ourselves in the shade. But I'm not going to beg and bow to you to clean up my image. God is sufficient for me. 